need help? Hello, sir. You work with the government? You one of them agents? Sure, son. <clears throat> Why you ask? Did you work with a man named Edgar Ross? I have something for him. Edgar Ross? No, but well knew of him. A fine man if he wanted results. Won himself a chest full of medals. I think he went and retired about a year ago. Last I heard, him and his wife moved out to a cabin on Lake Don Julio. Lucky guy, getting to take it easy. He's fighting crime in this dump, that's for sure. <clears throat> well, thank you for the information, mister. Who can become as angels if you just put down the booze? We are campaigning in Congress. We will save this nation from itself. In the land of liberty, men should be free to live soberly without fear that the perils of drink may overcome them. Do you like what you hear, sir? No, not particularly. You'll take away our last freedoms, friend. The freedom to forget about our troubles. You don't have troubles, friend. You have all the joys of heaven here on Earth if you just put down the bottle. Yeah, well, you don't know me so well, friend. Because if you did, you know how moronic that sounds. <laughs> I, Abner Forsyth, am not afraid to be called moronic, sir. Now that I don't doubt. Good day, sir. Oh, it shall be, sir. When we live temperately alongside one another, you are doomed! Doomed! Go before temptation gets the... Hey, you doing? I have piqued your interest, sir. Come in. Hey, mister. I heard about you. Yeah, <laughs> sure you did. <laughs> You that boy killed Bill Williamson over in Mexico. No, you got me mistaken, partner. I ain't. Boy told me all about you as soon as you come to town. Town? Is that what you call this place? Well, what's wrong with cesspit? <laughs> yeah, <well. Ooh. clears throat> you know... I saw you talking to that Abner Forsyth. Who? The temperance movement man. Man trying to put me in a poorhouse. You don't say. <laughs> well, ain't that a crying shame? He's Jeremiah Somerset's pawn. The industrialist wants the, the state to outlaw public consumption of liquor. So he can make a fortune selling personal gin stills. Leave bar owners like me begging in the street. Oh, well, my heart just bleeds for the three. I can't figure out who I dislike the most. You kill Abner Forsyth. I'd do right by you. You need to find yourself someone else. Oh. Kill him. <laughs> what are you still doing here? <sighs> if you 
it isn't or doubting. It's a sin. A sin. A sin, I tell you. Hey there, mister. Good to see you, my friend. Decided to join me and recant the evils of the bottle? <laughs> I keep wishing, partner. Now, you best be moving on soon. The fellas around here want you dead. Oh. I guess the path of God will lead me elsewhere in this benighted kingdom. Thank you for sparing the life of a poor servant. Kindly take this. Hey, you take care of yourself, Abner. Sir, I want to talk to you. What is it? I heard you tipped off Abner Forsyth after I told you to kill him. Now he'll be spreading his nonsense all over the territory. I'm not here to do your dirty work. Oh, yeah? Well, you can forget about drowning your sorrows anywhere around here. Around here, it's going to be double the going rate for you. So be it. Well, with you, I hope. Excuse me, ma'am. Hello, young man. Hi. What are you doing out here? Are you out visiting the lake with your family? Uh, no, ma'am. I was looking to deliver a letter to Edgar Ross. Oh, that husband of mine. That bureau just won't get its talons out of him, even though he's retired. Edgar gave them some of the best years of his life. They ought to let him retire in peace. They'll not rest till they've killed him with worry, and he's such a sensitive man. I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't get so angry. I don't suppose any of this is your fault. There's no need to worry about him nowadays. Well, where is he? He and his brother Philip went hunting on the south side of the San Luis River. Be careful crossing over. They were saying it was dangerous. I sure will, ma'am. Don't worry about a thing. I'm sure your husband will be just fine. Is there something else I can do for you? Go on now, young man. You're cluttering up the place.
Hey there, mister. How's the hunting? Oh, pretty good, son. Got me a few rabbits, coyote, elk. Still looking for some trophies for the parlor. I've got a letter here for Edgar Ross. You know him? I, I heard he was down in these parts from his wife. Of course I know him. He's my brother. Gone down river, duck hunt. Must be a pretty important letter to have come all this way. Oh, yes, sir. Real important. I'll be on my way home as soon as I deliver this message. You best be off, then. Just don't get on his bad side. He's got a filthy temper. Better care of it next time. Praise God for sending you to me. Thank you, senor. You're welcome, sir. Excuse me. You Edgar Ross? Do I know you? Forgive me for startling you, sir. I have a message for you. My name is Jack Marston. You knew my father. <laughs> I see. I remember your father. I've come for you, Ross. <laughs> and you, boy, have sure shit found me. You killed my father. Your father killed himself with the life he lived. You killed him. I saw you. You keep saying that. You sent him to do your dirty work. Then you shot him like a dog. And I'll shoot you like one too, you little piece of trash. Now get out of here before I kill you as well. I ain't going nowhere, old man. <laughs> <laughs> 